We they can't talk to um, the Minister of Local Government and Community Affairs, um, Ambassador Tamba Lamina. We go can tell we but um, in plans as in one of the people we the president retained and in cabinet and um, waiting in the plan for do as well. The announcement with the ministry make that then go begin for swearing um, uh, mayors, chairpersons, and councillors across the country. But before we go further, we want to say sorry to our colleague, um, Samir Rice Bangura. Um, we still they recover from a shocking um, you know, um, thing we happened with her yesterday in uh, the afternoon. Usai, um, uh, he was attacked. Thief Mandem attack him, newspaper spray. He been inside KK on Wilkinson, who they attack him and take um, a lot of money away from him. But thank God he's um, well recovering. And, um, you know, this was the first thing that they happened. I, I can recall one way other colleague, Komo Wokle, other day, that same Wilkinson, who they yeah, then know. jogging bike inside KK, in bag inside KK, and laptop being there and other belongings, you know. So um, it's scary. This can happen. It's, it's, it's yeah, especially I wanna hear the the chief man himself get some yeah kind of the other day in a battle we, state. We need for pray for him. Um, uh, no. I want to hear we newspaper editor. I say that and I laugh, but it's 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 crazy. I wanna don't they get I think about two or three times now an encounter with um chief man mm -hmm. but it is actually kind of scary because. I know for Aona particularly, <coughs> before now I've been net. Yeah. But lately, um, the I think it was about a week or two ago, less yeah. than two weeks ago, and I want to get this now. Yeah. Battle Street Junction. And then just yesterday afternoon, Samuel. And then two years happened before place dark. Yeah. So it gets scarier by the day. I'll place not that yet if people and the chief man and they get the audacity and the gumption now for attack people them. Mm, yeah. We place not even dark. So then he said, Kapusa is not word. When yeah. things happen to people, you don't need for it to happen to yourself first before you learn from that experience. Day. So, as you go about, just be careful, be careful. Yeah. Whether you're there inside Keke, you take bike, or you're driving, because people in this effort they don't attack, where they're inside, they don't they they drive. Yeah. So, you get for be extra careful, take extra measures, then make sure, say, you, if you drive, you know, let you, 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 you window they all lock. Lock all the doors. Make sure say person not able for. Cause me don't get that experience they want. And if man try for open the motorcar coming, uh -huh. but me na person who is very security conscious. I, I from crime documentaries something stick in my head. The if man actually attempt for open the motorcar kind side, but well, because because the, lock because the central lock they so you not able kind side. Yeah. So be careful. The if man and the dry eye these days. The yeah. the then then they're not afraid again. Then they do are now like openly. So be careful. And, be yeah, careful. and it's a, it's a syndicate, not them alone. You see, you go see yeah. you go inside a case, slow down and come and attack you. We just need to be extra vigilant and they call on the um, security apparatus, the police, for um, ensure, say, possibly to patrol and um, see how you can able to identify suspicious people and how they behave and all of that. But we want to wish Samuel all the best and a speedy recovery and hope, say, he will stay strong in all of this. The program, they continue. Um, uh, Mr. Minister, good morning and welcome to the program. Good morning. Long, long I, I, I'm sure you are amongst um, the, the, those who uh, the president believes say um, for continue for work with him as, as now the executive arm of government, as a cabinet minister. What does this mean to you, you know, as someone who don't serve the ministry before the elections and after the election, the president is in confidence in you? Uh, well, it's very gratifying. Um, so, Boku Boku Salon people and they were similarly qualified. And His Excellency, right from his first term, where he became president, um, it be best to confidence in me. Uh, for initially, for last serve as High Commissioner in the UK. Uh, I do that for about nine months, and due to the performance, uh, where I've been due day. He called me after nine months. He said, I can't talk to the government minister. Uh, so after staying abroad for quite a long time, coming back for serve the local government ministry, obviously, uh, and be a challenge. Well, clearly, uh, I believe, say, during this period of close to four years, what on the other ministry day, uh, we're quite a big ministry. Uh, for let the president decide, say, again, say, I continue 
uh, for man to pro provide the leadership in our ministry, in this ministry, uh, it's really a honor. Mm -hmm. And I want to be very grateful to His Excellency the President uh, for bestowing that confidence in me. And I will continue to work with Sierra Leoneans uh, all around the country uh, because this ministry span the whole country. Uh, clearly, I believe say, we will work together collaboratively and with all the other partners for make sure say uh, we deepen decentralization and also make sure say uh, the people's voices are heard in terms of decision making. Something the way we are noticing say we don't they seem for get probably as an issue where certain institutions, some people don't know the work scope of certain institutions then. Mm -hmm. So one thing go up on I go here, this person, they blame this person way. You talk to that person, go tell you say, well, this way they call me pan, so not all within me mandates for do me work. Where thing are the work of your ministry? Uh, well, local governance, uh, clearly in 2004, uh, post-war years, um, the government been thinking, uh, say, if I establish local governance, when I sub national governance unit, uh, in order for uh, the people and voices far away and near for let them be heard uh, for service delivery. Uh, government uh, previously in a be a centralized system where in any two government do United go uh, Tegu na Falaba or, or other places. But now certain things and they uh, way government fee say then can be done better if the decisions are made closer to the people, because the people that are in the field, uh, within the happen in the community and they make decisions relating to that. So we get some things that we we'll call devolved functions. Uh, then functions, then they, nine government peel off central government and send up local government nine for doers. So councillors, the way that they elect, uh, those are political, uh, the political unit, but we also got core staff the way they day. Uh, but also additionally, uh, we get uh, the mayors and also uh, the chairpersons or the district chairmen, where they will provide leadership not in council and So we get 22 councils uh, up and down the nation, but also we get 190 chiefdoms uh, in the country. We have paramount chiefs and the demanding chiefdom and they. Uh, we got regional centers, we get district offices, we have district officers and they. So it's quite a complex system of governance, but clearly we're responsible for ensure administration take place, but also for work with development partners and also development units for make sure say development can then look at communities then they. But the overbearing thing is uh, we for make sure say with the administration will take place now then side and the peace reign now then community then they, uh, so that development will come. Uh, in a nutshell really not that the ministry. You you responsibility na like even with the central government you also the supervise the local governance um, you know system across the country with the pa conducting um, uh, with the paramount chiefs local council chairperson and councillors as well and um you know one thing where we always only talk about from as you talk from the 2004 or so um local gov government act now the issue of devolving functions to council for ensure say the local governance um system work independently on its own with support from central government. Um, since when you take over, how much you go say, say you don't able to achieve in ensuring that, um, you know, councils them get functions and we devolve to them? Well, councils then don't the work and councils then don't the thrive. Uh, we don't come a long way with regards to uh, making sure that local governance actually, well, we we'll still get a long way for go. Um, basically, uh, a lot of them devolve functions and they, uh, then they perform them. Uh, we still get for uh, devolve uh, personalities, uh, assets, and finances. We still get for good along with it. So uh, one of the objectives uh, for this time really, now the fiscal decentralization, wherein the finances will be looked at and see which, which really local governance uh, we able to do in terms of uh, for letting them get some amount of space uh, for letting them function, uh, for letting them operate their finances within. Uh, but clearly I believe, say, uh, even towards elections, where we go all around the country, which is Excellency the President, we see exactly the rural councils that they play in terms of development, uh, whether or not for do with school, whether or not for do with water, whether or not for do with feeder roads, uh, whether or not for even do with the administration of them place than they 
councils they don't play quite a vital role. So they mm -hmm. get that space they really for operate. And we believe, say, we enroll role as central gov government now for continue for giving that space. And also the ministers, they will don't devolve the functions then to the councils for let them continue uh, for provide that space day for the councils then for let them operate uh, so that the people their voices then will be heard. Well, once we um, um, possibly don't be challenged now, um, you know, the ministry playing the supervisory role and having people are then cancelled and they will believe, say, uh, they are elected as well, they have independence. You know, how much um, the ministry don't they work with, um, you know, the councils there, especially, um, we all see what's in with the Freetown City Council, the ministry being there for intervene, set up a committee for investigate and all of that. But collaboration and for ensure, say, um, you know, projects and programs and be implemented for the good of the people, how much you know, don't they collaborate and get that understanding, say, these institutions as well need to be um, operating independently, even if one of the provide supervisory role. Well, obviously, they need to get um, uh, the sort of autonomy where they require, mm -hmm. but within the law. Uh, clearly, uh, we get a supervisory role and also a monitoring role. Uh, we get the Local Government Act, we're in the uh, 2022 Revised Local Government Act. We uh, clearly the outline which in local government uh, governance structures they can do uh, within the confines of the law. Uh, clearly, if at all, uh, they step out of that, and we can call them back to say, no, you cannot do this. It, you're not, you're going out of your whatever, uh, for bringing them back in line, for letting them function within which we expect them to do. Uh, you cite Freetown City Council. I believe Freetown City Council is one of the councils in the whole country, out of 22. Uh, the issues that will be together at Freetown City Council, uh, clearly now about how far you can actually go uh, in terms of actually uh, what you able to do without, you know, collaborate with other people then. Uh, collaboration, very, very important. Uh, no, not get, uh, this is not a federal state where, it obviously, uh, councils are completely independent from central government. Uh, we all for operating partnership, uh, we for share um, um, uh, information as to what you, what you will do. Um, the councils then uh, clearly from the law in self, self uh, certain things that they will go for report. Uh, if you get funds, then you therefore try to uh, declare the funds, uh, both to parliament and also to the Ministry of Local Government. Uh, if you get agreement, the way you sign, because at the end, uh, and a government, they pick up the tabs if anything goes wrong. So government needs for, to, to be aware of what is going on uh, for make sure say, things that happen smoothly so that uh, we don't go away from the responsibilities and the duties that uh, we prescribe inside the law. So we don't do anything really for either gag or say the Freetown City Council of operate. Uh, what we did was within the confines of the law uh, for make sure say, Freetown City Council operate uh, very well, but also even with themselves amongst the staff there. I believe say, there were a lot of issues relating to uh, inter-workings within the, the, the council itself, and we tried to address the issues then they, and give them an, an outline of what the expectations were. And I believe say, towards the tail end, it's been a little bit quiet uh, mm -hmm. where people then begin to work with each other. In governance, we got to get an understanding, say, you not get uh, you there at the top, you don't get all the answers. You have to talk to people. Yeah, you got to make sure, say, then people they need, they understand which side they move, and you got to give them information. Uh, six, transparency, very, very important, but what is also critical in this whole thing is about accountability. Mm -hmm. You got to inform the people, whether or not people of Freetown, but also keep the ministry informed about what you're doing, so that at the end of the day, the ministry or uh, the government will pick up the tabs of mistakes the way you don't make way they go on. Mm -hmm. And speaking of the people, you get for at council level, um, when you talk to people, um, whether people in a market, then get their own concerns and complaints about things as it be and as it ought for be. What is the, the role of your ministry as it relates to the councils here across the country with the service delivery to the people, them, especially traders, that we also can they pay the taxes and use them to the council them. Well, uh, the local councils they are responsible, obviously, for make sure, say, uh, the markets they operate, uh, for, for also take the uh, taxes in the market. Uh, for
and let them get traders then for operate within the market. Uh, we believe, say, as a ministry, uh, we don't get much interference into that. Uh, but if concerns then come, obviously, where the people are not satisfied with the things they do, uh, we could look into that in the day. But we believe, say, largely uh, the councils that are then operate the markets, uh, then they work with the traders, whether not traders' union and all that in the day. Uh, but we're in, then get uh, issues or disputes. Then obviously, if you raise them up with the ministry, we can come in uh, for can resolve the issues then they are alongside with the council. And there was a time when it seemed as if there was some hostility between you and the mayor of Freetown City Council, Ivona Kisoya. Again, there's another opportunity for me to continue for work together. You still in at the ministry, you elected as mayor of Freetown City Council. How far will I don't go in on issues and what have been the issues then they said? I don't believe so we ever get hostility. Uh, <clears throat> clearly of how things then will happen. Uh, clearly uh, as a ministry um, complains them in Kanto we either from the councillors themselves self, or from people of uh, uh, the people that are free to where they live in Free Town about certain things that we the council don't do, we then go beyond the mandate. And we, as a responsible ministry, we we'll begin for coming, uh, for looking into the issues then there, especially issues where we bother uh, on the public concerns, uh, where clearly the public will need for know uh, what will happen, especially with the Palava being on the day, uh, within the council itself uh, over a long period of time. So we we'll begin the responsibility as a ministry for try to sort that out. Now make we establish uh, an, an inquiry team for let we get an objective view of what really been happened at the council and when the report come out it's been very very clear say the council been quite dysfunctional in terms of relationships uh, within the council either between the mayor and the deputy mayor and the core staff uh, issues them in the and how we will get them kind of day, how the council will actually work effectively uh, if then kind of thing and they occur. We had also from some financial issues uh, we'll be there for look at in terms of how agreements them in day, uh, or how agreements were signed, we'll be there for look at the issues and day. But also uh, there were other issues relating to uh, structures the way they were informed at the local council, we're not there inside the local government act or they not go through due process in order for establish uh, a, a delivery unit where the core staff will then get the mandate for actually function of the council we feel say them in on sideline them and their operation the working uh, functions they all them in on take up that the delivery unit be the by and delivery unit the ministry not be ever know about them and they not go through due process in order for establish that delivery unit so we'll be there for coming for try for sort the issues then they and we believe say we work quite well in terms of uh, addressing those issues and making sure that that thing and they uh, uh, not go happen again and the relationship they improve towards the tail end and that now we own role as a ministry we believe say any council we want form delivery unit i mm. uh, will not stop on our form delivery unit but go through due process you will advertise whether then you recruit and all that and they, the possibility that the chief administrator get for the right at the center because they are the chief administrator of the of the of the <coughs> council but why is it that the issues not being mainly with the freetown city council not the other council there across the country well because the freetown city council will be the issue uh, we get other other de delivery units that are put local district. They go through due process. They establish the delivery unit. Uh, other councils they really don't work in their delivery unit. Uh, but clearly, Freetown City Council that they may get the issue. Now make we don't get the issue that we deal with. And clearly, uh, we believe say now make a talk right from the beginning. Say we get to the two councils. If Freetown City Council now always been their issues. Then we have to look at why the issues that they occur. I had already done pronounced uh, state exactly what have been the issues that they. It was about uh, leadership and the leadership for understand the people the way they work with them, uh, for let them make sure say them people then they self function within the role that has prescribed within the law, uh, the local government act, uh, not for come for brush them apart for say, no, we're not going to operate. Uh, it is about me and my delivery unit. Yeah, I believe up to this time now the chief administration uh, administrator them they manage the the, the council say. Absolutely. Yes. Right. Um, and th there has been this issue as well about you know, um, certain council, the leader, political leadership, and the chief administrator of them, where the ministry can assign to then different councils, and they can get issues. You know, uh, as, as a ministry, how um, at this time, how you plan for address the issues, and they because it's the ministry that sends the 
um, administrative officers there to the council them. And in a situation outside, they know they work with the political elites, them, they affect the delivery and generally the people. Then. Well, um, I don't know if say um, any um, chief administrator when a professional head, just like any permanent secretary in a ministry, uh, they get a prescribed role. Uh, the political head also get a prescribed role. Uh, the objective of the political head now to make sure say what he tell the people they say what they get for can do for let the administration help and for let them succeed uh, for implementing programs and they um, per se uh, we not really get issues uh, we we not able for resolve um, human relationship. Uh, you don't need for let for somebody for let you work with them. Mm. Uh, you have to work with your own confines as to what the law says, you say, these are your responsibilities and also you need for function. Uh, we believe so we get very uh, good uh, chief administrators, people with wide range of experience, hold on the the council for a very long time. And they understand waiting at the role and waiting for happen at the council. If you want to go outside waiting at your role, then you want to bring you come back, say, no, not to this to happen. Now, my ministry, I get a permanent secretary who I work with as a politician. Uh, now, I'm a chief advisor. Mm. Then they advise me, say, oh, minister, law do it this way or law do it that way. They need to provide guidance because they get a long years But, but, but in the instance of the politics. political aid, I think, say, um, um, you know, they're having issues with, um, you know, perhaps the... There are instances of permanent secretaries them as well, cases of who ministers and can get... So we own plan and our agenda gets um, uh, differences with the permanent sector or the chief administrator. How we can address the issues and they amicably, you know, for in, in the interest of the nation and the people, the more than people are the south. Well, we got to we got an entity we call the local government service commission. Mm -hmm. We really are responsible for uh, the human resource issues that are the council uh, within within. Um, then a, a quite a separate entity. And we get um, guidelines as to how the human resource will actually function. Uh, clearly, uh, if uh, politicians then get uh, any issues with any of their staff, then they uh, then go through process mm -hmm. uh, in terms of them can make complaint and then we we'll look at them complaints and they for see what thing best needs to be done in order for address the issues and they. I will be on the on the mm -hmm. um, uh, In the interest of Sierra Leone, we all go for. Uh, whatever opinions we have or whatever shade we carry at the end of the day it is in the interest of Sierra Leone and when the tank can really for operate uh, within the councils then they or within, even within the ministry uh, we have to be Sierra Leoneans and clearly when you do that you work with everybody collaboratively uh, you never know, tax somebody say this not this person or this not this person mm -hmm. uh, because of that I know you work with this person clearly you always uh, you don't create problem already uh, as long as that person did the function very well within that uh, in scope and you provide uh, the deliver on the uh, waiting uh, we expect them to do it's well and good. And I believe you know, that we expect for everybody to do, it, whether in a CA or whether in any other staff in a local council as we carry on. In the past four or so years, what do you think is the biggest um, challenge you know, in um, providing supervisory and monitoring role for local governance across the country as the minister? Well, uh, clearly, I believe say we we'll want to do more in terms of we supervise um, monitoring role, uh, but obviously we get financial constraints as a day uh, everywhere now, because we know uh, for say challenges them in one day with uh, uh, a lot of uh, COVID coming, uh, government we get for concentrate power, various other things. Then uh, we will want to get the resources necessary so that we will be able to visit the council there more frequently. Uh, for ensure, say, they actually they perform the role, uh, they monitor them, uh, the, uh, and will provide the required leadership of the ministry and the presence uh, for the around, not necessarily because we want to go and overcrowd the space, but for them able to understand and provide the necessary guidance uh, uh, for them they're able to achieve what they need to achieve. Uh, mm -hmm. I believe, say, yes, financial constraints have been there. We will need for one for get more staff, mm -hmm. uh, more professional staff for actually help we. Uh, we want for launch into areas of research uh, within the council. Uh, we get a, for, we'll all get a research directorate. Uh, as it is right now, uh, last, uh, thing last year, uh, the ministry nomenclature will be left for change from Ministry of Local Government to uh, Ministry of Local Government uh, 
uh, Rural Development to Ministry of Local Government and Community uh, Affairs. Uh, that community affairs, obviously, we need to establish a directorate uh, of community affairs uh, so that uh, we will get grievance. Um, how we resolve grievances in them communities before ever they come to uh, the point where, you know, obviously they, they become co conflicts, uh, where they disturb the peace in them uh, local communities. Then they, but more so follow focus on development as well uh, in the localities. Work with the councils, work with chiefdoms. Uh, the new act we will get, mm -hmm. we don't try to incorporate the chiefdom councils for letting them come in, for letting them also play a pivotal role in development as well. Uh, we want for March all the one and day, but also the regional offices they will get, uh, we say district officers that they will also get them, uh, uh, resident ministers, let them all come together so that we get one governance, let people that know this is, oh, this is not local council, this is mm -hmm. not central government, mm -hmm. let work together so that there will be that seamless approach uh, towards uh, governance in the country. It seems the, the president um, very keen now on paying attention to the service delivery of your appointees them. It's evident in the list some people they know it will get the reappointment. But you lucky for get a second opportunity with the president. What are the biggest item on your agenda where you aim for achieve before you go left office? <laughs> uh, I, I know I'm pin pinpoint down to one thing. I mm -hmm. think say uh, His Excellency truly manifested all. Oh, Makan. So later we will be able to use them for judge you. As a ministry, <laughs> we want to actually support the Feed Salon project. Okay. Uh, clearly, we now we the localities. Now we work with the people there for make sure say uh, His Excellency vision forget that food sovereignty. Uh, we are able for for try for achieve that. I feel say that would be one of the biggest achievements as a ministry. Uh, the local councils then get for be involved uh, directly into making sure that this particular vision here is successful. The 190 chiefdoms they will get the land and all the space uh, for make for let them grow food. We want for work with them so that 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 self will happen. But also uh, we believe say within this particular tenor. Uh, we want to also re revise uh, the uh, Chieftaincy Act. Uh, last time we have revised the uh, Local Government Act. We want to revise the Chieftaincy Act. So that will bring and come to speed to the Local Government Act we in SFD. Uh, also, additionally, we believe say, there are also other boundary issues as well, boundary delimitations within the function well. So we even have to look at the local councils, then, then the boundary limitation. Uh, as we look at Freetown City Council, a wide and broad, and we they believe say the more the broader it is and the wider it is, they're not really able to take stock of some of the areas then really where they mandate really need for cover. Western rural district, some of the councils, the bigger, some of the city councils are smaller. We don't they get them complaints and they don't they can. We need to look at the issues then they so that we'll make sure say for efficiency and for ensure say uh, councils they perform well or see how limitations then go the boundary issues around those issues Lord look at them for make them more cogent and perform the role better how about service delivery you talk about accountability um earlier we um very very important and um you know the minister we pilot the new act and um fortunately as well you did in the second phase for implement them as well you see now the uh, mayors and gets deputy we now under the new act mm -hmm. but in, in the on the issue of accountability and um, you know value for money as well mm -hmm. in implementation of either the funds or the key or revenue where the councils them um, um, they, they get what are you um, agenda on that how you plan for ensure see them be accountable to the people mm -hmm. as much as you supervise and monitor within the do well the monitoring and clearly we believe say we for interface with the council on a very regular basis uh, for no, for take stock. Uh, very recently, uh, the Honorable Vice President, when uh, the Chairman for the Interministerial Council, we will get council stock taking even before the politicians in the council, so that within the period where the CAs then uh, they may not be operating at the local councils, let's see what those activities then they don't undertake and uh, waiting they don't do before the politicians and they come back. Uh, we still believe say the monitoring will be effective if we the aim for touch. We get a plan and a plan outline for all the touch then council then they on a very regular basis for all we know within the programs of action and for all we monitor then program of actions and they for all we ensure say uh, that they carry out within the no actually tell we as a ministry say these are the targets that they leave for me within the 
manifesto requirements of uh, His Excellency in Indigenous as well. You talk about the feed salon, but as well under the Big Five projects, there are issues about you know um, reforming the administrative um, um, the administration generally, public and civil service um, across the country, across the board. Mm -hmm. Waiting ever be you hold as well in that, as in as much as. Um, the ministry also, um, the key chief administrators, them when are like permanent sectors, the way they work with them, um, council Sunday. Mm -hmm. Already, uh, we don't review the uh, the human resource guideline uh, where uh, now they speak to uh, recruitment issues, um, now they speak to disciplinary issues, uh, now the local councils, uh, now they talk about uh, performance in general of uh, them public servants and they whether the uh, core staff, uh, now na, na the local councils then they we hope for complete that very soon, uh, so that we will do the consultations we don't take place that they directly in sync with uh, this uh, 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 public service rev uh, reforms uh, wait for take place. Uh, as soon as we don't and they, we share um, and also look at welfare issues of course staff within the council. Um, it will be interesting for no for the uh, family then you know say once they don't recruit you as a in a particular position na na council it's very difficult uh, within that course staff for letting you move vertically or even horizontally. Now the act no, actually, tell we say that we have room for let we try for do that. And they were in the local councils. If they want for move into the civil service, they will get chance for move inside the civil service. But also, if civil servants they also want for go work in a local council, then we're able for move there. But also, we want to see whether for in order for motivate staff in the local councils, we will get provision uh, working alongside with the public service commission and also the HRMO for see whether we will, uh, we will get a provision so that we will get a tier system wherein people then will get growth, whether by incremental salaries as year than they go on, where you reach after two years, three years, probably you hit another salary uh, moving on. So that that will act as a motivation, but also it will impact on retention. Uh, within the local councils, because we know I lose uh, very critical staff because that service delivery at that local level they, is very, very, very important. And the people they really cherish that and the work they way they council and they do for them. We know we want to lose the better staff for move them into the civil service. We want to retain them, but we also want to make sure say, we motivate them and work for something where they go before. So, but you know, we do in one position for 10 years, 11 years, 12 years that you do the same thing over and over. Yes, but if you get milestones where you get for say, after one, do five years, now this small salary and I go add, that is a go act as motivation. So there's a lot of work we still need to do in order for us to shape up the, uh, the administrative aspect of the uh, core staff within local councils as well. But also capacity building. I've uh, seen a major, major thing. We know already don't begin for do that. Uh, training of local council staff, interfacing with the leadership of the ministry, the kind of leadership we them for provide. But critically, how them for support the politicians and self now, their local. I make this induction program where they try for uh, mm -hmm. develop so after the oath taking and the orientation, uh, with the move all around the country for make sure, say, uh, councillors they understand the role, but also pivotal to that, that also the core staff for say how they for actually serve the, the politicians and the, mini, the, uh, the local councils. In, in a press release on the 3rd of August, you announced, um, say, today the 8th, on the um, Cobain's induction um, exercise. I wanted to take the public to uh, this, waiting in main and waiting on again for the do. Well, um, it prescribed that the Local Government Act in uh, 2022, uh, Section 8, say, for let you actually take your seat as a councillor, um, you get for take oath, uh, oath of office. And what in that oath of office mean? Uh, you do go swear, say, you go pay uh, due allegiance and also you go commit yourself for do what you say you can for can do for the people of that local area day. Uh, so uh, the process would already don't start up. Uh, we're glad to say the Honorable Vice President when the chairman for the Interministerial Council, um, he agreed say he would join me for the, um, we uh, go around, uh, we do at regional level. Uh, so um, on on the tenth uh, we go dinner bow bow that. The, that for the, the southern councils, uh, the southern councils when Abu, Moyamba, Pujong, uh, uh, Bonth, 
the one and the old Moody, and uh, once I was, I was swear the chairpersons and the mayors and all the councillors. Uh, and then on the 11th, we will go to Kenema. Uh, we do the Eastern Councils. Uh, we obviously will involve Kono, uh, Kenema, and Kailahu. We will do the one and the. Then the other week, on the 15th, uh, we plan for do Freetown City Council, uh, Western Rural District Councils, all the councillors, mayors, and whatever. Uh, and uh, then on the 16th, we will do the Northwest. Uh, Northwest, we obviously will involve Port Loco, uh, Karine, and Cambia. Then the other week, when at the 22nd, uh, we will do uh, Bombali, Kwenadugu, uh, Falaba, and Tonkolili. Mm -hmm. That's not the, not the north of the country. Mm -hmm. uh, Waiting this go until they will, will swear them in. The after that, they will begin get the induction programs. They have to have them with the, uh, with the, with the uh, uh, try for building capacity, but how council really will function uh, later on. So, so after, the, after this um, activity, council, they begin um, um, roll out their own plans, or then they begin to see them now, you they expect them like, just like how parliaments get there, them process. That's the expectation. Also, we get a situation where the main opposition um, don't announce, say, um, you know, they don't want to be part of, um, you know, the parliament as well as local council. Um, how this go affect, you know, um, this program on the plan? So, well, uh, we this now local governance. Uh, central government, we obviously local governance day. Uh, we don't say election done done. The people that don't vote, who that they want for let them vote. And this is, this is a very interesting times in local councils because we get uh, mixed councils almost everywhere in the country. We're in representation from all political part. Uh, most political parties are uh, represented in local councils. We believe certain councils and councillors they do it and they elect. Um, they make a commitment to the people themselves who are electing at this job with the council can do. Uh, we cannot preempt anything. Uh, we the go for go uh, install the politicians and at the council. Uh, we they ask all councillors, all mayors, um, all district chair chairpersons uh, for let them present themselves for swearing. Uh, you know they become mayor or, um, uh, or district council chairman or a councillor without them not swear you in. That's not a requirement according to the act. Uh, we go on for admonish everybody uh, all around the country for letting them present themselves, for them perform this critical role as a ministry. Okay. Um, Phoebe, we get some messages. We get messages then yeah. by the Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Samuel Millennium 2 is saying, Mr. Minister is talking and not doing action. Your ministry is performing the function of the mayor of Freetown. We're right now in crucial month of the rainy season, but we have not yet seen the drainages been cleaned up so we are asking for that to be done especially um now that we're living in this those that are living in the slum areas we don't want to see any floods occur in slum areas uh swiss man swiss man say minister i wish you all the best in your administration i hope you'll work diligently and you'll work hard to fight against corruption in uh, these administrations moreover the people are aware about the rampant corruption in local councils. We hope that you'll work in the interest of Selion because with corruption, you'll never achieve greatness. Uh, Martha Elonubi says, good morning. If in governance the top doesn't have all the answers, then why does the president have the answers and choose to do what he wants with it? Um, another message from Abdul Kamara saying, Mr. Minister, what will be the repercussion if uh, these elected officials do not show up at the induction ceremony. Musa Shaka Kamala says, I advise the minister and his ministry, if APC doesn't want to participate in governance at all, let those who came second work in the different positions so that those offices can't be vacant. Joseph um, Tamba say, indeed, that the dynamic minister who is always willing and ready to unite local governance, especially parliament chiefs across the country, continue to do the good work. Swissman, Swissman says, Minister, I wish you all the best in your administration. I hope you will work diligently and you will work hard to fight against corruption in your administration. Moreover, the people are aware about the rampant corruption in the Freetown City Council. We hope that you will work in the interest of Sierra Leone 
because with corruption you will never achieve greatness in your administration. Jibril Samuel, the final run I will take, um, say, Mr. Minister, uh, do you have a timeline or deadline to devolve functions to um, local councils that has been long overdue since uh, the first local government act and it's still ongoing with some ministries and ministers uh, being afraid or refusing to devolve very important functions to um, local governance. Um, Amin Sandi says he is grounded in local governance. I am impressed. Wish you the very best. Well, with that uh, we'll just leave you to respond to. Yes, we'll get the minister. Uh, well, uh, I want to thank you for all the people that always send comments. Um, timeline for for devolving local function, uh, uh, devolve functions. Um, we don't devolve, in principle, a lot of the other functions. Uh, in terms of uh, realizing the devolution, it needs a lot more work. Um, sometime last year, um, with the previous uh, chief minister, uh, the minister of finance and the minister of development and economic planning, uh, we will sit down together, we get all the divorce sectors them into one room, we talk to them one by one as to how the devolution happened. We get a plan of action with regards to how we want to try to meet that. Uh, in fact, from then, I don't even get a review of some of the functions, the way um, 2004, they may say they actually devolve. We we'll believe, say, the one and they you know, you no know, good before devolving right now. Um, so we get a timeline and we get actions with regards to that, how we want for, for look at that. And I make I say one of the critical things um, that the uh, fiscal decentralization policy. Uh, we're able to forget that and they, it will address most of these issues, issues about assets, issues about finance, uh, all that thing. And so we're going to work very collaboratively with the Ministry of Finance uh, and various other partners for try to realize this fiscal decentralization policy. We believe it's very, very critical. Uh, the president, in terms of say why the president get all the answers, no, the president never ever say he get all the answers. The president present a manifesto to the people. And based on the manifesto, it will tell the people they say that this is the one for achieve within the next five years. And we all get for work towards realizing that because now, now the president of the nation and now the people that don't get the mandate say now for lead the country. Um, with the issue of cleaning, cleaning still continues. Uh, year in, year out, uh, there are challenges with regards to cleaning because we know the topography of the free town we saw today and most of the other areas. And also, uh, we own human fully as well. Uh, relating to how with the with the with the with the dump uh, dotty, I believe so. All that and they calculate towards the recurrent flooding we get in the in the, the, the city. Uh, we can forget huge behavior change. Uh, last year we were able to forget plastic policy where the uh, former minister of environment we bring come in. We need to work on that. Currently, uh, as a ministry, with the work we almost did very close. Uh, for get a, uh, a strategy, a cleaning strategy for the whole nation mm -hmm. uh, in terms of uh, making sure that uh, how dirty, how we treat dirty. His Excellency, we don't actually for we'll try to do that. And we almost don't re actualize that now. Uh, once we get that, and the, that strategy there in place, uh, we believe Senate for orientate people. But behavior change very, very important. Uh, it's easy for let people then say, oh, now the local council, you know, they do this, they don't do that. And they. Somebody they work on a treat, you drink pan plastic, uh, sachet, you just they drop on a street. They clog the, uh, and a lot of sachets of drinks will take them every day. Uh, uh, the issue of corruption will still continue. Uh, transparency, uh, we always believe say people them uh, for whistleblow, we say them fee say things and they happen with them fee say not correct. Uh, we go come in, uh, but also then can also raise that with the anti-corruption uh, team as well uh, for letting uh, do them thing and uh, We want for commit say as a ministry, we will continue for work diligently uh, for the people of Sierra Leone for law make sure say Decentralization is deepened, uh, but for all, make sure so we collaborate effectively uh, with the local councils, the chiefdom councils, and all the regional offices. For all, make sure say governance is peaceful uh, for this nation. There is, um, you know, your ministry, they collaborate with every other ministry, I'm, I'm sure. You know, there's this, like you mentioned, interministerial. Um, you know, Council on Local Governance as well, with the Vice President, the, the, the Chair. But how this co collaboration very important? Because, um, you know, most of the ministries there, 
need for devolve certain functions into the mm -hmm. local council and a process and the way you supervise and monitor. Waiting at the level of um, collaboration between um, your ministry and the other ministries, then, you know, for able to actualize, um, you know, the dream of devolving functions. Maybe as one of the viewers then say, we don't depend on from the first local um, gov government act. Well, uh, there's a, we do collaborate uh, a lot. Um, clearly, uh, in terms of the devolved functions and the uh, with the local councils, now I make the local councils and they're even able to perform a lot of the rules them uh, because uh, the ministries and the give the required support to the local councils for performing the devolved functions and they uh, where they don't devolve to them. Um, as a ministry, uh, we they meet um, periodically uh, at, a, at inter-ministerial level. Uh, for actually discuss local governance and how the, the devolution process they go. Uh, the, the vice president uh, is very, very keen uh, because already we don't see, say, the journey just for install as well. Mm -hmm. And moving on from that, we believe, say, we provide the required leadership for ensure, say, all the ministers they are, we get role for divorce, some of them, for, uh, some of them functions, and they to the local councils. We're able for do that, and we're able for time within this like, next five years. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it can, it can sound very challenging governance, nah, small, small. Mm -hmm. uh, I know see people that can do in haste, but sometimes if you move too fast, it will crash. Uh, I believe, say, we need to take a set of set as we move along. But effectively, once we don't devote finally, we will, we will One of the functions that we defeat on City Council, I can recall, we don't they discuss. I can recall as well, we, um, Dr. Sandy was Minister of Lands, we get that discussion there as well with the uh, mayor. Is, is uh, the devolution of the function of um, building permits, la the, the land um, system as well. Um, you know, especially we the council they complain about people building in places where they know for bill and all of that and they're not they in in charge of that uh, how far with that you know especially in the western area outside we get climate issues we get environmental issues and all of that well um we don't come a long way uh family uh, remember, remember say uh we now get the the land commission uh the land commission gets huge responsibilities with regards to um, the issues that the way you really try for draw um, commission where they work within the Ministry of Lands and we'll review the local government act the issue of building permits and then kind of thing and the, and the, the planning um, the commission nine they actually handle them but inside that commission they they get forget a, 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 a team or a structure within the commission, who are the local councils and they play a pivotal role uh, for the decisions the way they go make. Uh, parliament fees say not the best way that they for move and go forward. Now they know to government make that decision. Mm -hmm. uh, parliament make that decision then you have to change the law. Uh, we believe say we will the commission uh, they will start for operate and work with the local councils and then even meet with the uh, new commissioner uh, for the land commission. Uh, we don't begin work towards that and uh, we don't begin get concepts then together for all make sure say how we will bring them in there together for all try for resolve the issues then they uh, not to one reposy like it transfer building permit to street town city council mm -hmm. they're not going to solve all the problems there because in capacity huge capacity issues then they it's largely about collaboration and understanding say the objective now need for meet it don't really matter what I actually do but Lord try for get a synergy amongst various work uh, operatives for make sure say we function very well you, you talk about quickly, you talk about, um, you know, waiting for B, you contrib diminishing contribution to feed salon. You know, um, waiting directly for B on an intervention. Is it something you want to see devolve to um, local councils, forget directly involved in, um, you know, ensuring, say, the governments achieve their aspiration with feeding the country? The presidency by 2028 one of our import rice. Well, uh, look at that. The Ministry of Agriculture gets functions that we then devolve to local councils. Uh, it, about farming and various other, we work with uh, the farmers uh, within the localities and they. But we believe, say, we we'll work with the Ministry of Agriculture for knowing exactly waiting at the architecture and waiting at the plan. And at the local level, we for make sure, say, uh, their structures that they actually function, whether or within councils or within chiefdoms, for actualize this dream of actually feeding saloon. 
Uh, that food sovereignty today, I think we're very huge. Because we already don't realize, say, dollar price to go up. We need to make sure, say, we're able to try for feed yourself. Mm -hmm. And we, as a ministry, working very closely with the Ministry of Agriculture and various other ministries, for all make sure, say, that dream they be actualized. Nati we will work towards. And we they put ourselves there um, as a ministry for ensure, say, we'll try for meet that target day. So, um, as we uh, left you for go, you know, um, Waiting at the assurance where you want to give uh, the public, like Phoebe said earlier, we get people them we been in a cabinet where the president don't change, or you is still getting confidence in you and you still then at this ministry. Waiting at the assurance to Sierra uh, Leone um, on how you get for um, you know provide you political leadership in this ministry for actualize the Big Five agenda and as well the Sierra Leone at a local level benefits from. Um, the elected officials in that local council? Well, uh, as always, um, we always, um, uh, I always don't work very hard. Uh, no uh, responsibility, no the way anybody don't really give me, where I know don't try to rise up to the occasion. Uh, for that, I make sure, say, I perform that particular uh, role day. Um, I'm very lucky uh, for that, they will say so right now. And it is about Sierra Leone. And for one for less alone go before everybody really there for try for performing your role. Uh, me believe say I will continue for do that, for work with all my company minister them, follow actualize the big dream of His Excellency the President uh, in moving this country forward. That's Namio Mantra. Uh, day in, day out. Now yesterday now when I called me, I think I they even go home. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think it was about six thirty when I say in a Fokana I tell you say, hey, there are many things I do uh, they wake me early morning and the previous morning I don't wake very early in the morning. As well, and I say, I say, okay, but I will come because for salon business, we for we make sure so people they are aware of what's going happen in the country. Um, we always um, elect self, we go for suffer some pain. We go for try for do that and for make sure say uh, this country I will be for. Thank you very much. We appreciate that you make time for um, can talk to the people in this morning about local governance, your plan, and what thing you look forward to. But thank you very much, Mr. Minister. Um, uh, Ambassador Tambala Mina, the Minister of uh, Local Government and Community Affairs, been on the talk to we about um, in plan and waiting the people them for expect and the induction as well. We uh, get for up across the country.